Thursday shop talk, everybody. Okay, I started this at noon, I believe it was. Well, I did my noon update. I said I fixed the start. So I started, uh, man, let me tell you something. Now, I'm a rookie, and, excuse me, and I need, like, my tools are not set for this stuff. This stuff right here is thick, okay? Now, the stuff I've been getting, it was right in that area, six to eight ounces or something like that, but this is, like, a hair thicker. That's why I had somebody commented that my sheath yesterday looked real blocky. If I could bevel it down, well, I use a little beveler. But anyway, that's okay. Okay, what I did today, those who missed it, I'm making another one of these, similar. This is for the United Cutlery. I wanted to upgrade. This is the SOG Nightshade, okay? Now this sheath, I had out of my knife chest and I just modified it a little bit, made it fit the uh, the knife, so it worked. So what I wanted to do, and I did this this morning, uh, this is the Reaper, they're all clones. So I wanna get rid of that nylon sheath, the HRT Smith & Wesson, oh, I took that back in, That's a, that's got a leather sheath, so that's, that's set, that is set. So the Reaper, its new little nest is going to be this one that was for the SOG. Okay, now this is where I'm at. Okay, I got it drilled. I might even start sewing it here in a little while uh, so I could I get some dye on it overnight. It'd be cool. I went ahead and put my eyelets in there. I wanted the eyelets. Okay, I've got another crossover strap. I believe it's my last one. So that's cool. So and this, this, I didn't dye. This this leather was already black. I used an SC clip in there. I cut a slot in the uh, leather to make that work. And I did the same thing with this one right here. Okay, it's in the back. I went ahead and dyed it before I did that. And I put leather inside over the metal part of the clip. Now, is a good time to see if it fits without stabbing myself. I got the grommets in there, so it's only glued right now. Perfect. This is only glued. See how that fits? So I think I'm getting there. You know what I mean? This, this dagger here is a hair smaller. You see the height? This is taller. The United Cutlery is taller. So, the sheath is kind of according to this knife. So, I, it's just, it's, it's thick, man. Look how thick that is. Really thick. So, that fits. That's a good sign. I'm going to put this uh, back. It doesn't matter which sheath. Back there. Okay, I was going to throw these two knives. Uh, i got one coming. I was asked to review. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's by HX Outdoors. Legion's Tactical Cutlery. He's been doing some reviews on them. I think we're on the same page. They're awesome knives. Okay, this one I got uh, probably three years ago. And I don't even remember the model number. But it's fantastic outdoor knife. It really is got your uh, ferrule rod, your sharpener here. Uh, got a little place right there on top to strike your ferrule rod. This is an outdoors knife. Uh, it had leg straps and a lanyard. Okay, I don't know what the model number is. This I got not too long ago. It just, it's a camping knife. This is on sale right now, HX, HX Outdoors. This is on sale right now today for, uh, no, $12.99, guys, $12.99. It, this one is 5CR13MOV, no, 5CR15MOV steel. Stone wash finish. It has a rubberized handle. And I was going to throw these two today and didn't get a chance. And you see the, uh, the sheath. You could carry it horizontal, scout carry. You also remove this right here. You could also carry it... Uh, with the belt loop. It's multi uh, functional. You can strap it to your gear. 
12 this I think it was 12.99 on Amazon and it's full tang really nice uh, camping knife to take on a you know a camping knife hiking put in your gear put in your toolbox in the back uh, yeah so that didn't have a model number it just said uh, HX uh, outdoor camp knife okay I've got their folder uh, the onyx I did a review on that they sent me that one fantastic folder it has that plunge lock on it. I've never seen anything like it. Super cool. I should have had that with me. I'll show all those tomorrow. I'll get back to these. Because I do have uh, one they're going to send me to review. And I'm excited about it. So, I didn't throw today. I'm just kind of enjoying the weather. I did take uh, uh, a sog knife, a couple of sog knives to the post. I boxed it up. Had to get a box this morning. I tried Office Depot, Walmart, uh, yeah, Walgreens. I ended up getting it Office Depot. Uh, and bubble wrap and tape. Shoot, I spent bubble wrap tape in the boxes. <laughs> I spent as much as it cost to ship it. Yeah, but I'm excited about it. It just costs shipping, and I know they're going in good hands. Somebody's going to appreciate them. And actually, his display, his display in his house is incredible. It's the biggest display I've seen of Sog Nice. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And he actually was uh, one of the fortunate people, because he lives in Washington, he's one of the fortunate people that were able to participate in the Sog auction. When they sold uh, the warehouse in Washington, Washington, uh, they had an au auction. He went to it. Evidently, they walked in. They auction off. Uh, they take bids on different offices and sections of the warehouse. And uh, he got some nice stuff there. And then I got some stuff. An eBay seller had gone to the same auction. And I got some nice stuff from him. And uh, my point is, uh, I'm getting rid of some... Uh, uh, what I want to say, rare uh, pieces, you know what I mean? But I'm getting some good pieces that I wanted. Uh, those pieces served me well, and to be able to trade is kind of cool instead of going through selling and all that stuff. He knows what they are that I gave him. I know what he's given me. It's just a mutual agreement. It's very, it's just awesome. And uh, probably do that a couple more times. And it feels good that I've taken care of them. They're brand new, unused, and he's gonna put them up and put them on display. And I'm gonna show you guys, uh, I'm gonna have a mail call. It should be coming in Saturday, uh, the ones he, the one he's sending me, and that'll be good for Sog Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna try and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try about 15 minutes, do some uh, stitching on this, get a start on it. Uh, be kind of cool. Okay, y'all have a great day. I hope your day was good, okay? And uh, like I said, tomorrow, I'm gonna probably do these. These are budget friendly, and every once in a while, I like going out there to show people you don't have to spend a fortune on a knife that will serve you well. It'll do just what you need. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna throw them on the board. That's a brutal test, that board. It really is. It really tests the points on those things, the tips and the handles, anything. When that hits, that board hits, uh, I've had screws pop off. The blade's sticking in, but I've had screws pop off. So before I, I throw a brand new knife, I torque the, make sure the handle is screwed on there. Except for like this, this is a TPR, this is a hidden tank. You know what I mean? Good grip. I used that a uh, couple of hurricanes ago. Sog out.